Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. The affine symmetric groups are a family of mathematical structures that describe the symmetries of the number line and the regular triangular tiling of the plane, as well as related higher dimensional objects. In addition to this geometric description, the affine symmetric groups may be defined in other ways, as collections of permutations, rearrangements of the integers. Minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, that are periodic in a certain sense, or in purely algebraic terms as a group with certain generators and relations. They are studied in combinatorics and representation theory. A finite symmetric group consists of all permutations of a finite set. Each affine symmetric group is an infinite extension of a finite symmetric group. Many important combinatorial properties of the finite symmetric groups can be extended to the corresponding affine symmetric groups. Permutation statistics such as descents and inversions can be defined in the affine case. As in the finite case, the natural combinatorial definitions for these statistics also have a geometric interpretation. The affine symmetric groups have close relationships with other mathematical objects, including juggling patterns and certain complex reflection groups. Many of their combinatorial and geometric properties extend to the broader family of affine Coxeter groups. Definitions the affine symmetric group may be equivalently defined as an abstract group by generators and relations, or in terms of concrete geometric and combinatorial models. Algebraic definition, one way of defining groups is by generators and relations. In this type of definition, generators are a subset of group elements that, when combined, produce all other elements. The relations of the definition are a system of equations that determine when two combinations of generators are equal. In this way, the affine symmetric group Sn is generated by a set S0, S1, Sn minus one of n elements that satisfy the following relations. When n greater than or equal to three, Si2 equals one. The generators are involutions. Sisj equals Sjsi if j is not one of i minus one, i. I plus one, indicating that for these pairs of generators, the group operation is commutative. An SIS I plus one SI equals SI plus one SIS I plus one. In the relations above, indices are taken modulo n, so that the third relation includes as a particular case S0 SN minus one S0 equals SN minus one S0 SN minus one. The second and third relation are sometimes called the braid relations. When n equals 2, the affine symmetric group S2 is the infinite dihedral group generated by 2. Elements S0, S1 subject only to the relations S0, 2 equals S1, 2 equals 1. These relations can be rewritten in the special form that defines the Coxeter groups. So the affine symmetric groups are Coxeter groups, with the SI as their Coxeter generating sets. Each Coxeter group may be represented by a Coxeter, Dinkin diagram in which vertices correspond to generators and edges encode the relations between them. For n greater than or equal to three, the Coxeter, Dinkin diagram of Sn is the n cycle, where the edges correspond to the relations between pairs of consecutive generators and the absence of an edge between other pairs of generators indicates that they commute, while for n equals two, it consists of two nodes, joined by an edge labeled infinity. Geometric definition in the Euclidean space are n with coordinates x1, xn, the set V of points for which x1 plus x2 plus midline horizontal ellipsis plus xn equals zero forms a hyper plane and n minus one dimensional subspace. For every pair of distinct elements i and j of one, n and every integer k, the set of points in V that satisfy xi minus xj equals k forms an n minus two dimensional subspace within V, and there is a unique reflection of V that fixes this subspace. Then the affine symmetric group Sn can be realized geometrically as a collection of maps from V to itself. The compositions of these reflections. Inside V, the subset of points with integer coordinates forms the root lattice, lambda. It is the set of all the integer vectors, a one, a n, such that a one plus midline horizontal ellipsis plus a n equals zero. Each reflection preserves this lattice, and so the lattice is preserved by the whole group. The fixed subspaces of these reflections divide V into congruent samplices, 
called alcoves. The situation when n equals 3 is shown in the figure. In this case, the root lattice is a triangular lattice. The reflecting lines divide V into equilateral triangle alcoves, and the roots are the centers of non-overlapping hexagons made up of six triangular alcoves. To translate between the geometric and algebraic definitions, one fixes an alcove and consider the n hyperplanes that form its boundary. The reflections through these boundary hyperplanes may be identified with the Coxeter generators. In particular, there is a unique alcove, the fundamental alcove, consisting of points x1, xn, such that x1 greater than or equal to x2 greater than or equal to midline horizontal ellipsis greater than or equal to xn greater than or equal to x1 minus 1, which is bounded by the hyperplanes x1 minus x2 equals 0, x2 minus x3 equals 0, and x1 minus xn equals 1, illustrated in the case n equals 3, 4i equals 1, and minus 1. One may identify the reflection through xi minus x, i plus 1 equals 0 with the Coxeter generator SI, and also identify the reflection through x1 minus xn equals 1 with the generator S0 equals Sn. Combinatorial definition, the elements of the affine symmetric group may be realized as a group of periodic permutations of the integers. In particular, say that a function u, zz is an affine permutation if it is a bijection. Each integer appears as the value of ux for exactly 1x. ux plus n equals ux plus n for all integers x. The function is equivariant under shifting by n, and u1 plus u2 plus midline horizontal ellipsis plus un equals 1 plus 2 plus midline horizontal ellipsis plus n equals n, n plus 1, 2, the nth triangular number. For every affine permutation, and more generally, every shift equivariant bijection, the numbers u1, un must all be distinct modulo n. An affine permutation is uniquely determined by its window notation, u1, un, because all other values of u can be found by shifting these values. Thus, affine. Permutations may also be identified with tuples u1, un, of integers that contain one element from each congruence class modulo n and sum to 1 plus 2 plus midline horizontal ellipsis plus n. To translate between the combinatorial and algebraic definitions, for i equals 1 and minus 1, one may identify the Coxeter generator S i with the affine permutation that has window notation. 1, 2, i minus 1, i plus 1, i i plus 2, and, and also identify the generator S 0 equals S n with the affine permutation 0, 2, 3, and minus 2, n minus 1, n plus 1. More generally, every reflection, that is, a conjugate of one of the Coxeter generators, can be described uniquely as follows. For distinct integers i, j, and 1, n, an arbitrary integer k, it maps i to j minus kn, maps j to i plus kn, and fixes all inputs not congruent to i or j modulo n. Representation as matrices affine permutations can be represented as infinite periodic permutation matrices. If you, zz is an affine permutation, the corresponding matrix is entry 1 at position, i u i, in the infinite grid z times z for each integer i, and all other entries are equal to 0. Since u is a bijection, the resulting matrix contains exactly 1 1 in every row and column. The periodicity condition on the map u ensures that the entry at position, a b, is equal to the entry at position, a plus n, b plus n for every pair of integers, say b. For example, a portion of the matrix for the affine. Permutation 2, 0, 4 is an element of S3 is shown in the figure. In row 1, there is a 1 in column 2. In row 2, there is a 1 in column 0. And in row 3, there is a 1 in column 4. The rest of the entries in those rows and columns are all 0. And all the other entries in the matrix are fixed by the periodicity condition. Relationship to the finite symmetric group, the affine symmetric group Sn, contains the finite symmetric group Sn of permutations on n elements as both a subgroup and a quotient group. These connections allow a direct translation between the combinatorial and geometric definitions of the affine symmetric group. As a subgroup, there is a canonical way to choose a subgroup of Sn that is isomorphic to the finite symmetric group Sn. In terms of the algebraic definition, 
This is the subgroup of Sn generated by S1. Sn minus 1. Excluding the simple reflection, S0 equals Sn. Geometrically, this corresponds to the subgroup of transformations that fix the origin, while combinatorially, it corresponds to the window notations for which U1, Un equals 1, 2, and that is in which the window notation is the one-line notation of a finite permutation. If U equals U1, U2, Un is the window notation of an element of this standard copy of Sn subset of Sn, its action on the hyperplane V in Rn is given by permutation of coordinates. X. In this article, the geometric action of permutations and affine permutations is on the right. Thus, if U and V are two affine permutations, the action of UV on a point is given by first applying U, then applying V. There are also many non-standard copies of S N contained in S N. A geometric construction is to pick any point in lambda, that is, an integer vector whose coordinates sum to zero, the subgroup, Sn, of Sn of isometries that fixes is isomorphic to Sn. As a quotient, there is a simple map, technically a surjective group homomorphism, pi from Sn onto the finite. Symmetric group Sn. In terms of the combinatorial definition, an affine permutation can be mapped to a permutation by reducing the window entries modulo n to elements of one, two, and leaving the one-line notation of a permutation. In this article, the image pi u of an affine permutation u is called the underlying permutation of u. The map pi sends a Coxeter generator s0 equals 0, 2, 3, 4, and minus 2, and minus 1, and plus 1, to the permutation whose one-line notation and cycle notation are n, 2, 3, 4, and minus 2, and minus 1. 1 and 1 in, respectively. The kernel of pi is by definition the set of affine permutations whose underlying permutation is the identity. The window notations of such affine permutations are of the form 1 minus a 1 in, 2 minus a 2 in, and minus a in in, where a 1, a 2, a in, is an integer vector such that a 1 plus a 2 plus plus a in equals 0, that is where a 1, a in is an element of lambda. Geometrically, this kernel consists of the translations, the isometries that shift the entire space V without rotating or reflecting it. In an abusive notation, the symbol lambda is used in this article for all three of these sets, integer vectors in V, affine permutations with underlying permutation the identity, and translations. In all three settings, the natural group operation turns lambda into an abelian group generated freely by the n minus one vectors. 1, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, minus 1. Connection between the geometric and combinatorial definitions, the affine symmetric group Sn has lambda as a normal subgroup and is isomorphic to the semi-direct product Sn is approximately equal to Sn left normal factor semi-direct product lambda of this subgroup with a finite symmetric group Sn, where the action of Sn on lambda is by permutation of coordinates. Consequently, every element U of Sn has a unique realization as a product U equals RT, where R is a permutation in the standard copy of Sn, and Sn and T is a translation in lambda. This point of view allows for a direct translation between the combinatorial and geometric definitions of Sn. If one writes U, 1, Un, equals R1 minus a 1N, Rn minus A and N, where equals R1, Rn equals pi u, and a 1, a 2, a n, is an element of lambda, then the affine permutation u corresponds to the rigid motion of v defined by x1, xn, u equals xr1 plus a 1, xrn plus a n. Furthermore, as with every affine Coxeter group, the affine symmetric group acts transitively and freely on the set of alcoves. For each two alcoves, a unique group element takes one alcove to the other. Hence, Making an arbitrary choice of alcove A0 places the group in one-to-one -one correspondence with the alcoves. The identity element corresponds to A0 and every other group. Element G corresponds to the alcove A equals A0G, that is the image of A0 under the action of G. Example, N equals two algebraically. S2 is the infinite dihedral group generated by two generators S0, 
S1 subject to the relations S0 2 equals S1 2 equals 1. Every other element of the group can be written as an alternating product of copies of S0 and S1. Combinatorially, the affine permutation S1 has window notation 2 1 corresponding to the bijection 2k, 2k minus 1, 2k minus 1, 2k for every integer k. The affine permutation S0 has window notation 0, 3, corresponding to the bijection 2k, 2k plus 1, 2k plus 1, 2k for every integer k. Other elements have the following window notations. S0, S1, midline horizontal ellipsis, S0, S1, 2k factors equals 1 plus 2k, 2 minus 2k. S1, S0, midline horizontal ellipsis, S1, S0, 2k factors equals 1 minus 2k, 2 plus 2k. S0, S1, midline horizontal ellipsis, S0, 2k plus 1 factors equals 2 plus 2k, 1 minus 2k. S1, S0, midline horizontal ellipsis, S1, 2k plus 1 factors equals 2 minus 2k plus 1, 1 plus 2k plus 1. Geometrically, the space V on which S2 acts is a line with infinitely many equally spaced reflections. It is natural to identify the line V with the real line R1, S0 with reflection around the point 0, and S1 with reflection around the point 1. In this case, the reflection S0, S1. K, S0 reflects across the point. K for any integer K. The composition S0, S1 translates the line by minus 2, and the composition S1, S0 translates the line by 2. Permutation statistics and permutation patterns, many permutation statistics, and other features of the combinatorics of finite permutations can be extended to the affine case. Descents, length, and inversions the length g of an element g of a Coxeter group g is the smallest number k, such that g can be written as a product g equals s i1 midline horizontal ellipsis s i k of k Coxeter generators of g. Geometrically, the length of an element g in s n is the number of reflecting hyperplanes that separate a0 and a0 g, where a0 is the fundamental alcove, the simplex bounded by the reflecting hyperplanes of the Coxeter generators S0, S1, Sn-1. Combinatorially, the length of an affine permutation is encoded in terms of an appropriate notion of inversions. For an affine permutation U, the length is U equals hashtag IJ. I is an element of 1, N, I less than J, and U of UJ. Alternatively, it is the number of equivalence classes of pairs IJ, is an element of z times z such that i less than j and ui uj under the equivalence relation ij is identical to j if i minus i j minus j equals kn kn for some integer k. The generating function for length in sn is sigma g is an element of s n q g equals 1 minus qn 1 minus qn. Similarly, there is an affine analog of descents and permutations. An affine permutation U has a descent in position I if U I U I plus 1. By periodicity, U has a descent in position I if and only if it has a descent in position I plus K N for all integers K. Algebraically, the descent corresponds to the right descent in the sense of Coxeter groups. That is, I is a descent of U if and only if U S I U. The left descent, that is, those indices I such that S I U. U are the descent of the inverse affine permutation U minus 1. Equivalently, they are the values I such that I occurs before I minus 1 in the sequence. U minus 2, U minus 1, U0, U1, U2. Geometrically, I is a descent of U if and only if the fixed hyperplane of S I separates the alcoves A0 and A0 U. Because there are only finitely many possibilities for the number of descents of an affine permutation, but infinitely many affine permutations. It is not possible to naively form a generating function for affine permutations by number of descents, an affine analog of Eulerian polynomials. One possible resolution is to consider affine descents, equivalently cyclic descents, in the finite symmetric group Sn. Another is to consider simultaneously the length and number of descents of an affine permutation. The multivariate generating function for these statistics over Sn. Simultaneously for all n is sigma n greater than or equal to 1 xn 1 minus q n sigma w is an element of a sin theta wqw equals x del del x log exp x q 
1 minus T E X P X Q. X X 1 minus T 1 minus Q where the W is the number of descents of the affine permutation W and E X P X Q. Equal sigma N greater than or equal to 0 X N 1 minus Q. N 1 minus Q. 1 minus Q2 midline horizontal ellipsis. 1 minus QN is the Q exponential function. Cycle type and reflection length any bijection U. ZZ partitions the integers into a possibly infinite list of possibly infinite cycles. For each integer i, the cycle containing i is the sequence U minus 2i, U minus 1i, i ui, u2i, where exponentiation represents functional composition. For an affine permutation U, the following conditions are equivalent. All cycles of U are finite. U is finite order, and the geometric action of U on the space V has at least one fixed point. The reflection length, R U, of an element U of S N is the smallest number K, such that there exist reflections R1. R K such that U equals R1 midline horizontal ellipsis R K. In the symmetric group, reflections are transpositions. And the reflection length of a permutation U is N minus C U, where C U is the number of cycles of U. In Lewis et al. 2019, the following formula was proved for the reflection length of an affine permutation U. For each cycle of U, define the weight to be the integer K such that consecutive entries congruent modulo N differ by exactly KN form a tuple of cycle weights of U. Counting translates of the same cycle by multiples of n only once, and define the nullity new u to be the size of the smallest set partition of this tuple, so that each part sums to zero. Then the reflection length of u is r u equals n minus two new u plus c pi u, where pi u is the underlying permutation of u. For every affine permutation u, there is a choice of subgroup w of s n such that w is approximately equal to s n. Sn equals W left normal factor semi-direct product lambda. And for the standard form U equals Wt implied by this semi-direct product, the reflection lengths are additive. That is, Ru equals Rw plus Rt. Fully. Commutative elements and pattern avoidance, a reduced word for an element G of a Coxeter group is a tuple, Si1, Sig, of Coxeter generators of minimum possible length, such that G equals Si1 midline horizontal ellipsis Sig. The element G is called fully commutative if any reduced word can be transformed into any other by sequentially swapping pairs of factors that commute. For example, in the finite symmetric group S4, the element 2143 equals 12, 34 is fully commutative since its two reduced words, S1, S3, and S3, S1, can be connected by swapping commuting factors, but 4132 equals 142, 3, is not fully commutative because there is no way to reach the reduced word S3, S2, S3, S1, starting from the reduced word S2, S3, S2, S1, by commutations. Billy, Jockish, and Stanley, 1993, prove that in the finite symmetric group Sn, a permutation is fully commutative if and only if it avoids the permutation pattern 321. That is, if and only if its one-line notation contains no three-term decreasing subsequence. In Green 2002, this result was extended to affine permutations. An affine permutation U is fully commutative if and only if there do not exist integers I less than J less than K such that UI, UJ, UK. The number of affine permutations avoiding a single pattern P is finite if and only if P avoids the pattern 321, so in particular there are infinitely many fully commutative affine permutations. These were enumerated by Length in Hanusser and Jones 2010. Parabolic subgroups and other structures, the parabolic subgroups of SN and their coset representatives offer a rich combinatorial structure. Other aspects of affine symmetric groups, such as their Bruhat order and representation theory, may also be understood via combinatorial models. Parabolic subgroups, coset representatives, a standard parabolic subgroup of a Coxeter group is a subgroup generated by a subset of its Coxeter generating set. The maximal parabolic subgroups are those that come from omitting a single Coxeter generator. In SN, all maximal 
Parabolic subgroups are isomorphic to the finite symmetric group Sn. The subgroup generated by the subset is zero. Sn minus one sin minus I consists of those affine permutations that stabilize the interval. I plus one, I plus n, that is that map every element of this interval to another element of the interval. For a fixed element I of zero, n minus one, let j equals zero. Sn minus one sin minus I be the maximal proper subset of Coxeter generators omitting Si, and let Sn, j denote the parabolic subgroup generated by j. Every coset G, Sn, J has a unique element of minimum length. The collection of such representatives, denoted Snj, consists of the following affine permutations. Snj equals U is an element of Sn, Ui minus N plus 1, Ui minus N plus 2, midline horizontal ellipsis, Ui minus 1, Ui. In the particular case that J equals S1, Sn minus 1, so that Snj is approximately equal to Sn, is the standard copy of Sn inside Sn, the elements of Sn. J is approximately equal to Sn such as Sn, and may naturally be represented by abacus diagrams. The integers are arranged in an infinite strip of width n, increasing sequentially along rows, and then from top to bottom. Integers are circled. If they lie directly above one of the window entries of the minimal coset representative, for example, the minimal coset representative u equals minus 5, 0, 6, 9 is represented by the abacus diagram at right. To compute the length of the representative from the abacus diagram, one adds up the number of uncircled numbers that are smaller than the last circled entry in each column. In the example shown, this gives 5 plus 3 plus 0 plus 1 equals 9. Other combinatorial models of minimum length coset representatives for Sn slash Sn can be given in terms of core partitions, integer partitions in which no hook length is divisible by n, or bounded partitions, integer partitions in which no part is larger than n minus 1. Under these correspondences, it can be shown that the weak Bruhat order on Sn slash Sn is isomorphic to a certain subpost set of Young's lattice. Bruhat order the Bruhat. Order on S n has the following combinatorial realization. If u is an affine permutation and i and j are integers, define u i j to be the number of integers as such that a less than or equal to i and u greater than or equal to j. For example, with u equals 2, 0 for is an element of S3. 1 has u 3, 1 equals 3. The three relevant values are a equals 0, 1, 3, which are respectively mapped by u to 1, 2, and 4. Then for two affine permutations u, v, one has that u less than or equal to v in Bruhat order if and only if u i, j less than or equal to v, i, j for all integers i, j. Representation theory and an affine Robinson skins to correspondence in the finite symmetric group. The Robinson skins to correspondence gives a bijection between the group and pairs p, q of standard Young tableaus of the same shape. This bijection plays a central role in the combinatorics and the representation theory of the symmetric group. For example, in the language of Kasdan, Lustig theory, two permutations lie in the same left cell if and only if their images under Robinson. Skinstead have the same tableau Q, and in the same right cell if and only if their images have the same tableau P. In Schur 1986, Ginny Schur showed that left cells for SN are indexed instead by tabloids and in Schur 1991. He gave an algorithm to compute the tabloid analogous to the tableau P for an affine permutation. In Chmut of Pilyavsky and Yudovina 2018, the authors extended Schur's work to give a bijective. A map between Sn and triples P, Q row, consisting of two tabloids of the same shape and an integer vector whose entries satisfy certain inequalities. Their procedure uses the matrix representation of affine permutations and generalizes the shadow construction, introduced in Vianot 1977. Inverse realizations in some situations. One may wish to consider the action of the affine symmetric group on Z or on alcos that is inverse to the one given above. These alternate realizations are described below. In the combinatorial action of Sn on Z, the generator SI acts by switching the values I and I plus 1. In the inverse action, it instead switches the entries and positions I and I plus 1. 
Similarly, the action of A. General reflection will be to switch the entries at positions J minus KN and I plus KN for each K, fixing all inputs at positions not congruent to I or J modulo N. In the geometric action of SN, the generator SI acts on an alcove A by reflecting it across one of the bounding planes of the fundamental alcove A0. In the inverse action, it instead reflects A across one of its own bounding planes. From this perspective, a reduced word corresponds to an alcove walk on the tessellated space V. Relationship to other mathematical objects, the affine symmetric groups are closely related to a variety of other mathematical objects. Juggling patterns in Ehrenborg and Reddy 1996, a correspondence is given between affine permutations and juggling patterns. Encoded in a version of site swap notation. Here, a juggling pattern of period n is a sequence, a 1, a n, of non-negative integers with certain restrictions that captures the behavior of balls thrown by a juggler, where the number ai indicates the length of time the throw spins in the air, equivalently, the height of the throw. The number b of balls in the pattern is the average b equals a 1 plus midline horizontal ellipsis plus a n n. The Ehrenborg, ready correspondence associates to each juggling pattern A equals a 1, a n, of period n, the function W A, is easy defined by W A, I, equals I plus A, I minus B, where indices of the sequence are taken modulo n. Then W A is an affine, permutation in S n, and moreover, every affine permutation arises from a juggling pattern in this way. Under this bijection, the length of the affine permutation is encoded by a natural statistic in the juggling pattern. W equals B minus 1, N minus cross, A, where cross, A, is the number of crossings up to periodicity in the arc diagram of A. This allows an elementary proof of the generating function for affine permutations by length. For example, the juggling pattern 441 has N equals 3 and B equals 4 plus 4 plus 1, 3 equals 3. Therefore, it corresponds to the affine permutation W441 equals 1 plus 4 minus 3, 2 plus 4 minus 3, 3 plus 1 minus 3 equals 2, 3, 1. The juggling pattern has four crossings in the affine. Permutation has length W441 equals 3 minus 1, 3 minus 4 equals 2. Similar techniques can be used to derive the generating function for minimal coset representatives of Sn slash Sn by length. Complex reflection groups in a finite dimensional real inner product space. A reflection is a linear transformation that fixes a linear hyperplane pointwise and negates the vector orthogonal to the plane. This notion may be extended to vector spaces over other fields. In particular, in a complex inner product space, a reflection is a unitary transformation T of finite order that fixes a hyperplane. This implies that the vectors orthogonal to the hyperplane are eigenvectors of T, and the associated eigenvalue is a complex root of unity. A complex reflection group is a finite group of linear transformations on a complex vector space generated by reflections. The complex reflection groups were fully classified by Shepard and Todd. 1954, each complex reflection group is isomorphic to a product of irreducible complex reflection groups, and every irreducible either belongs to an infinite family G, M, P, N, where M, P, and N are positive integers such that P divides M, or is one of 34 other so-called exceptional examples. The group G, M, 1, N is the generalized symmetric group. Algebraically, it is the wreath product. Z slash MZ, wreath product SN of the cyclic group Z slash MZ with the symmetric group SN. Concretely, the elements of the group may be represented by monomial matrices, matrices having one non-zero entry in every row and column, whose non-zero entries are all MTH roots of unity. The groups G, M, P, N are subgroups of G, M, 1, N, and in particular the group G, M, M, N, consists of those matrices in which the product of the non-zero entries is equal to 1. In Schur 2002, Schur showed that the affine symmetric group is a generic cover of the family G, M, M, N, M greater than or equal to 1 in the following sense. 
For every positive integer m, there is a surjection pi m from s n to g m m n, and these maps are compatible with the natural surjections g m m and g p p n when p divides. m that come from raising each entry to the m slash pth power. Moreover, these projections respect the reflection group structure in that the image of every reflection in S n under pi m is a reflection in G m m n. And similarly, when m greater than 1, the image of the standard Coxeter element is 0. 1 midline horizontal ellipsis S n minus 1 in S n is a Coxeter element in G m m n. Affine Lie algebras, each affine Coxeter group, is associated to an affine Lie algebra. A certain infinite dimensional non associative algebra with unusually nice representation theoretic properties. In this association, the Coxeter group arises as a group of symmetries of the root space of the Lie algebra, the dual of the Carton. Subalgebra. In the classification of affine Lie algebras, the one associated to Sn is of untwisted type An minus 1, 1 with Carton matrix 2 minus 2 minus 2, 2, 4 n equals 2 and 2 minus 1, 0, midline horizontal ellipsis, 0, minus 1, minus 1, 2, minus 1, midline horizontal ellipsis, 0, 0, 0, minus 1, 2, midline horizontal ellipsis, 0, 0, vertical ellipsis, vertical ellipsis, vertical ellipsis, downright diagonal ellipsis, vertical ellipsis, vertical ellipsis, 0, 0, 0, midline horizontal ellipsis, 2, minus 1, minus 1, 0, 0. Midline horizontal ellipsis, minus 1, 2. A circulant matrix for n greater than 2. Like other KC, Moody algebras, affine Lie algebras satisfy the whale, KC character formula, which expresses the characters of the algebra in terms of their highest weights. In the case of affine Lie algebras, the resulting identities are equivalent to the McDonald identities. In particular, for the affine Lie algebra of type A11, associated to the affine symmetric group S2, the corresponding McDonald identity is equivalent to the Jacobi triple product. Bray group and group theoretic properties Coxeter groups have a number of special properties not shared by all groups. These include that their word problem is decidable. That is, there exists an algorithm that can determine whether or not any given product of the generators is equal to the identity element. And that they are linear groups, that is, they can be represented by a group of invertible matrices over a field. Each Coxeter group W is associated to an Artine Tits group BW, which is defined by a similar presentation that omits relations of the form S2 equals 1 for each generator S. In particular, the Artine Tits group associated to Sn is generated by an element sigma 0, sigma 1, sigma n minus 1 subject to the relation sigma i sigma i plus 1 sigma i equals sigma i plus 1 sigma i sigma I plus 1 for i equals 0, and minus 1, and no others. Whereas before the indices are taken modulo n, so sigma n equals sigma 0. Artin, tits groups of Coxeter groups are conjectured to have many nice properties. For example, they are conjectured to be torsion free, to have trivial center, to have solvable word problem, and to satisfy the k, pi 1 conjecture. These conjectures are not known to hold for all Artin, tits groups, but in Charney and Pi for 2003, it was shown that BSN has these properties. Subsequently, they have been proved for the Artine tits groups associated to affine Coxeter groups. In the case of the affine symmetric group, these proofs make use of an associated Garside structure on the Artine tits group. Artine tits groups are sometimes also known as generalized braid groups because the Artine tits group BSN of the finite symmetric group is the braid group on n strands. Not all Artine tits groups have a natural representation in terms of geometric braids. However, the Artine tits group of the hyperoctahedral group S n plus or minus, geometrically, the symmetry group of the n-dimensional hypercube, combinatorially, the group of sine permutations of size n, does have such a representation. It is given by the subgroup of the braid group on n plus 1. Strands consisting of those braids for which a particular strand ends in the same position it started in, or equivalently as the braid group of n strands in an annular region. Moreover, the Artine tits group of the hyperoctahedral group S n plus or minus can be written as a semi-direct product of B S n with an infinite cyclic group. 
It follows that BSN may be interpreted as a certain subgroup consisting of geometric braids, and also that it is a linear group. Extended affine symmetric group, the affine symmetric group, is a subgroup of the extended affine symmetric group. The extended group is isomorphic to the wreath product Z, wreath product SN. Its elements are extended affine permutations, bijections U, ZZ such, that UX plus N equals UX plus N for all integers X. Unlike the affine symmetric group, the extended affine symmetric group is not a Coxeter group, but it has a natural generating set that extends the Coxeter generating set for SN. The shift operator tau, whose window notation is tau equals 2, 3, n, n plus 1 generates the extended group with the simple reflections, subject to the additional relations tau s i tau minus 1 equals s i plus 1. Combinatorics of other affine Coxeter groups, the geometric action of the affine symmetric group s n places it naturally in the family of affine Coxeter groups, each of which has a similar geometric action on an affine space. The combinatorial description of the SN may also be extended to many of these groups. In Erickson and Erickson, 1998, an axiomatic description is given of certain permutation groups acting on Z, the George groups, in honor of George Lustig, and it is shown that they are exactly the classical Coxeter groups of finite and affine types A, B, C, and D. In the classification of affine Coxeter groups, the affine symmetric group is type A. Thus, the combinatorial interpretations of descents, inversions, etc., carry over in these cases. Abacus models of minimum length coset representatives for parabolic quotients have also been extended to this context. History the study of Coxeter groups in general could be said to first arise in the classification of regular polyhedra, the Platonic solids. In ancient Greece, the modern systematic study connecting the algebraic and geometric definitions of finite and affine Coxeter groups began in work of Coxeter in the 1930s. The combinatorial description of the affine symmetric group first appears in work of Lustig, 1983, and was expanded upon by Schur, 1986. Both authors used the combinatorial description to study the Kasdan, Lustig cells of SN. The proof that the combinatorial definition agrees with the algebraic definition was given by Erickson and Erickson, 1998.